your children, we were talking about them, four of, of the, the, the children are working with you in your law firm. What do you think you have taught them, uh, aside from that, what they can learn in, in law school or from books, from textbooks? Yeah, to, to a great extent, in fact, uh, at that point of time, uh, my children were very young. In fact, one of the reasons why practically all of them have taken up uh, law is perhaps uh, the situation I was in. And I made it clear to them that uh, they ought to go. In fact, at that time, the eldest boy was reluctant to go away. I was in prison, under detention. In fact, I had to coax him and say, look here, you know, I'm already in. You better go. Do something about it, which he did. And the others followed, including my daughter. Well, I think uh, they have seen me. I think uh, one, <clears throat> running my law firm, two, being in politics and the manner in which uh, you know, I've been able to take it. And I think uh, they were not forced into law, all of them. In fact, uh, it was uh, <clears throat> out of their own choice. And I think uh, they come after me because of the uh, commitment, commitment to the uh, law, for one. I'm more of a lawyer than a politician, I must make it very clear. And. Uh, <clears throat> The cases which come up, the manner in which to go about your work and so forth, I think that impressed them probably. The dedication you know, which one has to have uh, towards it, which uh, I've managed to sort of give it. I think that is what prompted them to uh, follow in my footsteps. Is there anything you impress upon them in order to be good lawyers they should do or they should follow, whatever? Is there something that you impress upon them? Well, go by your conscience and go by your commitment. Do the best you can for your client. Whether you win or not is not the point. You put in your best as long as your conscience is clear that you gave of your best. I think that is what uh, comes. Pulanya, saya berterima kasih atas kesemua kawan-kawan hadir pagi ini untuk memberi sokongan bukan hanya kepada saya, tapi kepada semangat, semangat bapa saya, bapa Singh. When will you hand over the baton to, I don't know, maybe your ch one of your children? I don't think the question of handing over the uh, baton arises actually because uh, a lawyer, a good lawyer, dies in the saddle. And I think that that, that would be what it would be as far as I'm concerned. Keep going and keep, keep going. Keep going, yes. I think a lawyer has to keep going. 